All right, well, the day's finally come. We're uh, making the Macan go away. So I've been talking about it for a while. We've been going back and forth for a while about what to do with this car, not because it's a need or a want, just because we just don't drive it that much. And you know, it's time to move on. This was probably not a car we were gonna to decide to keep forever. Uh, and you've, if you see my other videos, you've kind of seen my discourse and thought process that went into the purchase, uh, the ownership and everything involved with it. But today's the clear out day. We just uh, sold it or traded it into a dealer. Um, they offered us a good price, approximately what we paid for it. So, you know, if you can drive a car for over a year and pretty much get out of it for what you got into it, even though I probably could have held on to it for a while and, uh, you know, made a couple bucks on it at this point, it's kind of just easier to make it go away. So yeah, this is the, uh, I'll take it for one more spin, but it's going up to Pennsylvania, 79,993 miles. So right on the nose and uh, it's it's going away. Have anything else in there? Uh, probably. So are you excited about this or? I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> I think you're gonna miss it too, but it's one less thing to worry about. Not that it has any issues, but you know, it's uh, it's definitely not a cheap car and it's a, it's a want, not a need. And it's time to find something new. So that's kind of where this is going. This is definitely gonna be replaced with something else interesting, but uh, for the moment, it's going away. So this is kind of bittersweet, right? You know, we, we bought the car for a decent price, like I said, and we're selling it for just under what we paid for it a year and a half later. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with the car at all. I, we just had the oil changed. We had the uh, tires rotated, everything checked on, clean bill of health, no dash lights, even the TPS sensors aren't even on. You know, as I'm sitting at it in sport mode, you know, listening to the, the sharp shifts of the PDK. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of, uh, again, I wouldn't say regret, but I think, you know, the kind of the anxiety that goes with having over 30 grand tied up in a car with 70 some thousand miles on it, uh, that you don't drive that much and you don't want to hit a certain mileage threshold that could potentially slightly affect the value, you know, kind of sell it while you're on top, right? And uh, even though, like I said, we probably could have done better, we're definitely, I'm not gonna do worse. Um, you know, it, it feels good to uh, alleviate that payment. And in a world where newer cars really aren't that bad and everything lasts a little bit longer, I think going back to something that we were in before, something slightly used, um, something with some more miles on it that I just don't care all that much about is, is really the move, you know? And, uh, you know, we'll get a, a a good chunk of that money back and have a little bit of flexibility to buy something fun and interesting because that's kind of what it's about these days. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but I've got a few other cars coming. So that's, that's kind of the exciting part about all this. Turnover's fun. There's no need to keep a car forever. And, uh, as long as you can do it and not break the bank and, you know, get a deal and help someone else get a deal. That's kind of keeps this fun. Um, so again, take it for uh take it for one more spin and then it's going back up to Pennsylvania. Um, if anyone's got any questions about the Macan ownership experience, uh, let me know. Uh, these videos have done fairly well. They were the ones that kind of kicked off my YouTube channel and they've got a good amount of views and I think I've given a pretty fair and honest uh, review and opinion of this car um, because it's a little less scary than it could be. Uh, even though we did have a friend that uh, recently had on his 15 and had the PDK go out, which, you know, luckily he was able to fight with the per Porsche uh, service manager to appeal to Porsche North America and they are replacing it. But the bill, if they didn't do that, would be over, over 20 grand. So, and it's tough, especially when you have cars with PDK transmissions. There's very few shops that have the tools, equipment to diag and do that service. So it has to go to the dealer. So small things like that uh, kind of make it a less of a, you know, an, an appealing long term, especially when we weren't taking it on long road trips or anything anymore. So, Time to get back into something a little, a uh, little less cumbersome, um, and and go from there. So I'm I'm pretty stoked. It's a weight off our shoulders that we kind of put there ourselves. Um, so we'll we'll see what the next adventure brings us.